yes my Edo people this is a popular GRA Benin City Edo State where you have the government reserve lands from this uh, upstairs you are seeing being built here all these are actually government reserved areas you know lands in within the GRA Benin City Edo State you know they go within the GRA Benin City Edo State axis you know and um, follow like this you know. follow like this follow like this yeah we are going straight straight yeah as you can see the whole of these houses here these places are government reserved lands by my right you can see this compound here on my left is uh, popularly known owned by almost uh, a benedium these are all government reserved lands you know on this side of the road you can see this house belongs to another chieftain within the state these are all government reserved areas that have been acquired by politicians in the those states so as you can see this uh this is the popular um, house that belongs to uh the ssg you can see it here Osaro. Osaro Oge. you can see that is a uh, that is the house when all these places are all government reserve lands that have been acquired by politicians in those states up next as we're going this is also another land here where massive uh, buildings are all going on taxpayers money are being used to build this house now this other house here now ranging from where you see this uh multi-billionaire kind of thing this is not the house they go this is not the house of the deputy governor in those states this particular one here this is Filishaibu's house. This is what, where has Filishaibu worked to gain such a property? Was this property that him and Osaradion Oge, they have on this Gulf Coast Road? What, where, did, they, did they declare these assets in their, in their, in their code of conduct uh, uh, bureau forms? You know, their public asset declaration forms? We are going to be asking those people these questions. Now, all of these areas where you have Wilson Gardens and the rest have been acquired by politicians. They have torn public lands that have been, you know, in existence since uh, the Midwest days, uh, you know, to Bendel State, now to Edo State. You can see how they have acquired houses. You can see how they have acquired houses. This upstairs you are seeing here, this uh, quadrangle, uh, this uh, triangle uh, uh, building here, this uh, over five-story building here, is owned by the former governor of Edo State, Adam Sushomole. Since he left office as governor, work has uh, reduced pace. Yeah, you can see this is the popular Bini Golf Club. This is the popular Bini Golf Club, you know. To let you know the area we're talking about, I'm going to drive around the Bini Golf Club so you see, you see what we are talking about here, my two people. Traffic gate. This is what we're talking about. Hey, hey, no, no, follow here, follow here. These are all government reserve lands. Yeah, okay, straight up. Yeah, this is the popular Bini Golf Court. You can see it. Osaradion, Oge, and the Deputy Governor, they own houses that I don't think they have ever worked, you know, if they were actually receiving salaries or own contractors. They don't, I don't know what the kind of contract they have done to own such a house or what kind of businesses they have done. And those people should not be sleeping. Why certain individuals are, are reaping the benefit of, 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 our, of our collective wealth? You know, Acquiring private estates to their to their to their to their own uh, 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 private uh, uh, public assets to their own private estates. You can see this is the Bini Golf Court. On the other side of the road is where you have these multi-billionaire projects that these uh, multi-billionaire houses that these politicians have uh, have acquired. You know they've acquired all these properties while they were in government, which is which is an abbey issue before the, the, the public, uh, uh, you know, office holder act of Nigeria, where you talk about the code of conduct, you cannot acquire a property, you know, while you are from government, while you are in government. The same thing that happened to Professor Barton Naji, while he was minister of power, he wanted to buy over some power pro plants in the state. This other house here, as you can see, this is the, this is the, uh, 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 yeah, the house is the uh, sickle cell center. This is the Victoria Gardens owned by Oyegu. This is how they've been acquiring our public lands. And 
people are just folding their hands and these people are living on our collective wealth that they have used to live to, to you know to acquire choice houses and we are keeping quiet this is of course the the uh, Kada, uh, garden, Sama garden, Palasha garden, you can see it. You know, we are driving back. We are driving back. So, we want Edo people to join us to ask how did the SSG and Co, how did they get such words in Edo State? How will we be protesting tomorrow to the EFCC, to the House of Assembly, and to the Code of Conduct Brewery, you know, office in Edo State? We are going to be telling them they must investigate public office holders. Well, this is, this is, this is an aberry issue. What are they teaching the younger generations? What are they teaching us? That stealing is not, you know, a custom in our in our tradition in those days. It is a lie. We will continue to say no. We will continue to reject their plans, as the case may be. Join me live shortly later today to get more information.